So get this, an extra hole at the upper part of the sink has multiple hidden functions. First, in case someone forgets to close the tap, the water won't overflow and the bathroom won't get flooded. Second, thanks to that hole, the water drains faster and it gives an escape for the air, helping the water flow down. Those two holes on a side of any Converse shoe are not only to let the stinky air out. Sure, breathability is important for any athlete. The second reason is that athletes lace through those holes to get a better grip. Donuts have a hole in the middle and it doesn't stand for O in donut. It's not designed for an easier grip either, though it can be quite convenient. It's actually made this way for mass baking so that they can cook all the way through evenly. Baby carrots are tiny and, unlike regular carrots, wet. Baby carrots aren't some special sort of carrots. They're actually made of regular carrots by cutting off the skin and outer layers and then polishing them to look that pretty. The problem is that they can't retain moisture. A regular carrot retains some water inside because of the layers that locks it in. Once they're chopped out, baby carrots can dry out easily, so they usually sell them in bags with some water inside. Toy stores are filled with Beanie Baby plush toys, and a detail that is even more iconic than their huge eyes is their tags saying TY. That's a small manufacturing company not so many people have heard of. Beanie Babies appeared in 1993, and they went insanely popular. TY is the name of the company, but it's not an abbreviation. It's the actual name of the company's founder, H. Ty Warner. Most metallic zippers have a hidden lock inside them to save you from awkward situations, such as an undone fly. Oh boy. Don't leave the zipper handle in an upward position. When you pull it downwards, it automatically locks. It's all thanks to those tiny grooves hidden underneath the handle. Almost any public toilet has a large gap between the floor and the door. The reason for such a zero privacy thing is to actually minimize the level of privacy and comfort so that people wouldn't stay there long and there'd be no lines. It's also easier to clean and safer if some emergency occurs. Headrests in a car are about comfort and detachable headrests are about safety. If you pull the headrest out of a seat, you'll see two bars, which are quite sturdy. If you ever get locked or trapped in a car, you can get out of there smashing the window with these bars. Many cups and mugs have little grooves on the bottom on purpose. They're designed for dishwashing machines. The grooves let the water flow and not spill over your feet when you take the cup out. Also, those grooves let the air flow, so the cup doesn't crack even if the tea is scalding. Almost all measuring tapes have a metal tip with a small slot on the end. You can use this slot to hang the tape on a nail or a screw to make measurements without anyone's help. Sometimes this tip has a row of sharp points along the edge on one side. That comes in handy when you want to leave a mark without using a pencil. Doorknobs are usually made of brass, bronze, and some other copper alloys for a reason. They have an antibacterial effect, so they stop microbes from spreading. They get rid of a range of harmful germs pretty fast, within a couple of hours. But don't forget to wash your hands anyway. Grocery carts have loops for a reason. You don't want to put your jacket in a cart next to potatoes and onions. Hang it on a loop. This little hook-like thing is there to help you better organize the space in your cart. The carts also have a super handy grid. Whenever the cart's full, you just need to lift the grid and attach the shopping basket for extra purchases placing it in between the horizontal bar above the wheels and the hooks the grid has. A point in an ointment cap is there for a reason too. Most tubes are usually sealed with foil, and it's better to avoid opening it with fingers unless you're ready to say goodbye to your nails. A point easily opens even the most safely sealed tube. Silica gel can often be found in different things you buy like bags, shoes, and many others. Don't throw it away. It's meant to absorb excess moisture, so anytime your shoes are a bit wet, just throw in a packet with silica gel. People used to co-live with rats, and these guys like gnawing on everything they see in their way, including paper. Still, rats weren't able to chew more than the space left on the margins. That black grate on a microwave isn't just some fancy decoration. It's called a Faraday shield, and it prevents the rays from escaping the microwave. 
It also speeds up the heating, so you can enjoy yesterday's leftovers faster. It may also block phone signals, so if you're tired of numerous calls, just put the phone into a microwave, but don't turn it on. All Tic Tac containers are designed to dispense one Tic Tac every time you open it. The lid has the same shape as the candy. Turn the container upside down, gently shake it, and open it slowly. You'll notice only one candy stuck between those lid grooves. So if you just open the container and shake it until five or even more candies fall into your mouth, it means you've been eating Tic Tacs wrong all this time. Those little holes in the airplane windows are designed to control the cabin pressure. They also protect the windows from fogging up as the temperatures drop and rise. By the way, the airplane window is round for a reason. This way, pressure is evenly distributed so it doesn't get deformed. Blue bristles on a toothbrush are actually an indicator that it's just about time to change the brush. As the bristles get in contact with water, the blue, or whatever other, pigment fades away. So the more you use it, the duller the color becomes. A triple handle on a jerry can is there to make it easier for two people to carry it and distribute the fuel evenly. Gas cans often have a second hole that actually needs to be uncapped too before you pour the gas. The air passage will prevent it from pouring out, so no more fuel waste. Jeans first appeared in 1873. They were invented by Jacob Davis and Levi Strauss. Davis was a tailor who was producing covers and tents, and Strauss was a businessman who, among other things, was selling cloth. The first jeans were made by Davis from denim, the fabric he bought from Levi Strauss and Co. Together, they patented the design. Blue was a standard color for denim that was dyed using an indigo dye. The blue color is a tradition that is still often followed today to replicate the original look of a pair of jeans. Jeans also have metal rivets, and they've been there from the very beginning. Jacob Davis, the man who made the first pair of jeans, added copper rivets to spots where pants were more likely to rip, flies and pockets to make them stronger. Today, they have more of a decorative purpose since they're distinctive and traditional for jeans. Another special thing about jeans is those tiny pockets they have that seemingly serve no purpose. Well, maybe it's true now, but years ago, when many cowboys were wearing jeans, the pocket was made specifically to keep a pocket watch there. Also, back then, a pair of jeans had just four pockets. That tiny pocket, the watch pocket, two big pockets in front, and just one pocket on the back. Many zippers have the letters YKK engraved on them. It's an abbreviation that stands for the name of the company that can be translated as Yoshida Manufacturing Shareholding Company. This Japanese company is the largest zipper manufacturer in the world, so they put their initials on all the zippers they produce. That's around half of the zippers in the world. And that's why you see their zippers more often than any other zippers. Those little white golf balls have dimples all over them. It turns out they aren't there just randomly. At first, golfers were playing with a smooth ball. With time, the ball would get all punched and damaged, but also it would start to travel way further. The reason here is aerodynamics. Dimples allow the air to flow more smoothly around the ball, taking it further. So the idea was adopted and the balls got their dimples all around, allowing them to travel longer distances.